Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I would get started in the Space Engineers Skyblock scenario. This is a scenario that I've made and it's been tested in multiplayer and it's been just a blast to play and to share with everybody and to work on and so I hope you enjoy it. To, uh, to start out with, this is a space start. It doesn't look like it though. It looks like you're up in the sky and there is nothing else here. So there is no asteroids and no planets. And so you can scrap to survive all the uh, cargo ships and encounters and the factorum are all turned on and the encounters are turned up a little bit and this is just a excellent space playthrough and a lot of fun it um, the other option is to use the solar ore generator and that allows you to generate ore and then you can refine it produce and progress to make uh, higher tier ores as you go so i'm going to show you how i would get started uh, we need to be able to afford to make our first solar ore generator and so because this is one of my videos we're going to start by grinding some stuff down so I am grinding some uh, light armor blocks for the steel plates only need about 50 to start so uh, it's totally safe to remove any light armor blocks that you find on the vehicle past that front cockpit area there. So anywhere to the back. And let's make a solar ore generator. So you can search for it or it's available on a few of the menus, including its own menu at the bottom for solar ore generator. And we're going to get the stone one. Place that right there. And we want it to be facing uh, outward at least and we'll put those steel plates in there next it's going to need small steel tubes I like to steal those from over here I remove both of these catwalks uh, this gives us the tubes and it also opens up some good conveyor spots you can repair any damage you cause and bring those back in there and then uh, next we need large steel tubes. We're gonna steal those from the ion thrusters. We have some extra. Um, then I'm full of thrust components, so I'm gonna hold down Alt and then middle click on my cargo container to deposit all of those components. And now I can reach those large steel tubes. Deposit those eight, I need two more. So we're gonna steal those from here and should be able to reach those yep there we go and I'll just put the rest back in there for storage and so now we need a computer this is the last item we need for this and I like to steal it from this extra set of sliding doors we have um, I'm going to replace this later, so let's go ahead and just remove this whole thing for now. And there we go. So that was all we had to do to afford our first solar ore generator and start producing stone. And you don't need the bulletproof glass. I like to steal the extra back actually for now. Oh, there we go. And so that's producing. It's uh, aiming a little bit off. So let's go ahead and uh, fix the alignment of the ship a little bit. Pressing V, then holding Alt to zoom out. And I can move over. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but it's good to kind of stay in the general direction. The cool thing is that your ship can always face the sun because there's nothing to block it. <laughs> there's no planets or asteroids, so... Uh, potentially, you can have 24 hours of sun if you wanted. So, uh, I'm getting a little oxygen from the tank. And then I am going to go to production here on the survival kit. Go over to ingots. I'm holding down control and shift to queue up a thousand at a time. I just want to queue up a ton. 
And this survival kit will kind of be our refiner, at least for a stone for a little while. And so that is running. We are now able to proceed through everything else. I like to start with an assembler. That way it um, can assemble while the, ref the survival kit is refining at the same time. You also need an assembler to make any of the other ore generators. So I'm going to right click on this and I middle click to pull out what resources are available and then I shift middle click to queue up the remainder. And if I go over to production here, the couple of things. First, the stone is running first and because stone is going to keep coming, it may never finish and allow you to craft the rest. So I like to move the stone to the end. And then I like to right click to cancel those steel plates because I can always steal those from the back. So anywhere in here you can start taking off steel plates to afford the rest. And that is going to keep running. And what I'm going to do is, uh, now that you have production moving on its own, and you would be able to do everything on its own eventually, I just want to save a little time for the tutorial, and I'm going to switch to creative mode. I do not recommend that you do this. <laughs> so, welding up this assembler. Now that that's unlocked, we can start making other ore generators. One of the first things I like to do is make some room with a junction on the front. So I'll grind down this. There we go. And then next, I want to place an ice uh, generator. Um, it's nice to just get this handled and out of the way. So ice allows you, I'm placing it so it's facing the outside. Um, ice allows you to get oxygen and hydrogen as you need, but it also, two of those can keep one O2 generator running and one O2 generator can keep one engine running. And so this engine, I can turn it on, it will power, it will cover our power needs for quite some time. Uh, ice is one of the best sources of power on uh, Skyblock. Uh, maybe when you get to uranium, you could switch over to that, but the uh, ice will always do pretty well for you for power. So next, what I like to do is to add a bed, and I'm going to go ahead and put it here inside. So I'm removing that uh, that panel and this wall in there. And then I like a half bed open. And right now beds are pay to win DLC items because you can use them to pause your hunger. And uh, but they will be there will be a free one in the next update. And then let's go ahead and put a window here to replace it. Wow, well, I, can, I can spell today. So I do a one by one flat. There we go. And that's just a nice place to chill or AFK while your ship is running. And then I told you I'd replace that door. I'm going to do a keen airlock just to show you how to do it. I understand a lot of people dislike these and, uh, don't worry, you don't have to do it. I just wanted to give you an example. If you ever needed this, it's a nice skill to have, especially if you're troubleshooting leaks. So I got a round window inwards corner inverted, I think is what they added it stands for. And I'm going to place it like that. And this window is actually seen as a full block. So, uh, it will block the air from leaving this area and it also is nice because you don't have to have a door closed to get by it. So I am now at full oxygen. 
So you definitely do not need to use a key and airlock. I just want to show you how you can. It's been in the game for quite some time and it's quite helpful to be able to just focus on building and flying without worrying about doors. So we got a little more power, a little more oxygen, and we are moving right along. And then lastly, I just want to show you how to automatically align your ship with the sun. And I learned this from a Luca video. It was very helpful and I can expand upon it a little bit. So first of all, we're going to need a turret controller. Let's move this to the next bar. Turret controller. We're going to need a camera. And rotors and gyroscopes. So, uh, I'm going to put this turret controller here on the back. I like to have one extra block here on top just to give a little space for things. And then let's put a camera here. Now I'm going to put the camera here. You can, if, especially if you have a larger ship, you can kind of have it more central or on your most important items, because that's the part that'll face the sun most directly. But I just put it here. And be sure this little green dot is on the bottom left. And then we're gonna add in our rotors. And this is very important, uh, as far as I know, um, to put these rotors facing to the side of the camera. Don't place them forward or backwards. Make sure they're on the side and That'll help. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the large grid rotor parts off the side of these. Inventory full. And complain about inventory. <laughs> and then go to control panel, find these two rotors, and you can add small head. And weld that up. And then we're going to go ahead and put gyros on both of these. Now, if you are, since we're using small grid here, if you're uh, really short on resources or in a hurry, you can always use a small grid turret controller on this part. But I'm leaving it, um, I'm leaving that on the main grid. So just in case you need to swap out larger gyros, you can. So. Here we go. We have gyroscopes on here. We have a camera. That's all we need to set up this turret controller. In the first part here, it says azimuth rotor. Go ahead, hit and select the first rotor. And then the second rotor. I don't think it matters which is which. And then choose the camera. And scroll down here to always aim at sun. Now this will insanely slowly move your uh, ship and part of that is because it's fighting with the main gyroscope so I'm gonna go ahead and label this one main and turn it off so that will help speed it up a little bit the biggest thing is gonna be going to these two gyroscopes that you added and putting override controls and that will very smoothly uh, rotate your ship towards the sun and then if that's not enough you can go to your rotors that you added and turn on share inertia tensor and that will very strongly uh, rotate your ship to face the sun and so this should cover you for a while if that is not enough uh, power, let's say your ship gets large, which uh, definitely happens on the multiplayer servers as well, <laughs> um, is that you can go ahead and use large grid rotors on here. And if that's not enough, you can add a post of rotors that comes out and uh, <laughs> use those. So this uh, is definitely very helpful and keeps your ship well aligned. So now we let's go ahead and make a toggle button for this so that you can control your ship when you want i select all those gyros and the turret controller and i add those to a group called toggle rotate 
And then I find that group and put it on my bar with an on off toggle. And if I press that button, now I can control my ship. And then if I press that button again, it's automatically aligned to the sun. So this is totally vanilla. You can use this to have your solar panels face the sun and the like. Um, it's just uh, particularly helpful with this scenario, so I wanted to make sure I gave those uh, instructions. I just wanted to go over the progression a little bit. So you can now make all the lower tiers of ore up to cobalt, and then you'll need to make metal grids from the cobalt to make magnesium. And then to make silver, you'll need explosives from the magnesium. And you'll need to uh, have the appropriate assembler or refiner for those things as well. So there is a bit of progression all the way up to uranium, but you have access to all the ores in the world. And um, as far as how many you need for what, uh, two ice will keep up with two O gens, O2 gens, regardless of your settings. Uh, about four uh, stone will keep up with one large refinery or two to a basic. And then for the rest of the ores, about one ore generator to one basic, or two ore generators to one normal refinery. And then if you're playing on uh, 1x survival settings, then you would need to triple your refinery requirement. The uh, amount produced by the ore generator doesn't change depending on the game settings. And then I just want to give a shout out to Prestige Reaper and his crew. They've been playing Skyblock since it first came out and really encouraged me to work on it. And it's just been a blast seeing all the uh, incredible creations that they've been making on the multiplayer server. So I'll link that information down below. Please reach out either down below or in the uh, Discord with any questions or comments. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.